Liverpool's 3-1 loss to Brentford in their first Premier League match of 2023 once again elicited a fierce online debate surrounding the transfer of Sadio Mane to Bayern Munich. It was Liverpool's fifth defeat of the season, further underlining their struggles in a campaign they have often blown hot and cold. The Anfield faithful believe Mane's exit remains the major problem the club and Jurgen Klopp did not solve despite bringing Darwin Nunez from Benfica on board. How true is this? Did Liverpool make wrong decision to let Sadio Mane go? Let us roll it back a bit. Mane joined Liverpool in 2016, becoming Klopp's fifth signing as a new era dawned on the Merseyside club. The Senegal captain is considered the main signing that propelled the Reds back to the top. A season later, Mohamed Salah was acquired from AS Roma, and the two African stars quickly became the face of the club as Klopp sought to steer the once European giants back to the pinnacle. They achieved this and together, alongside the unsung hero, Roberto Firmino, lifted the club to the top, winning all major club titles and ended a 30-year wait for the Premier League crown in the process. Fast forward to the summer of 2022 and Mane walks through the Anfield exit door to Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich, leaving many fans stunned. His exit has coincided with Liverpool's poor season so far and interestingly, Salah's form has dipped leading to many fans opining Mane was the reason the Egyptian was shining at Anfield. So was Mane the glue that held Liverpool together? For so long, Mane and Salah have been so integral to the way Liverpool play, both with and without the ball. The two have enjoyed immense success, and no amount of statistics can bring out the exact impact the two players have had at the club. Salah, in particular, has over the years enjoyed God status at the club, and it is hard not to see why. The Egyptian won the Premier League Golden Boot, breaking the 38-game record in the process, became the fastest man to score 50 Liverpool goals, and overall served the Anfield faithfuls with some unforgettable moments coupled with world-class goals and moments of pure magic. Mane, on the other hand, went about his job quietly and won his way into many Liverpool fans' hearts. His consistency and lovable nature made him a darling for many at the club, and his numbers, 120 goals and 48 assists, in 269 competitive appearances for the Reds is an amazing return for the Senegalese international. But for winning the Golden Boot twice, being Liverpool's top scorer in every season he has been at Anfield, for leading the club to the Champions League, Premier League and other domestic cup wins, not forgetting the world-class goals, Salah has always been considered the main man at Anfield ahead of Mane. Despite this though, there are those who have always believed Mane is a complete player compared to Salah not in terms of numbers, but his overall contribution to the team and all-round performance, including offering support to the defense. So who was more important to Liverpool, Mane or Salah? Former Liverpool great Jamie Carragher rates the Senegalese ahead of the Egyptian, saying his tireless efforts for the team are more valuable. For me as a Liverpool fan when I watch Liverpool play, Sadio Mane is my favorite player, the Reds legend said towards the end of last season. He's the one I watch. We know Salah's numbers, he has won the golden boot, so you cannot say he does not do his job. But as you say about Mane, he is sacrificed himself at times, the shift he puts in. Not just him, but Salah as well. Five years they have been at it now. He's not alone. Former Chelsea coach Jody Morris believes the club lost their main attacking weapon and his absence has been one of the reasons for their struggles. Similarly, former Premier League stars Rio Ferdinand and Peter Crouch said at the beginning of the season that Klopp will regret letting Mane leave. So many times Mane has come up trumps in these games where it's tight, backs against the wall and they're missing him, Crouch said, and his sentiments were supported by former Man United star Ferdinand. Even before Mane's exit, a debate had long been sparked with pundits and analysts questioning whether Mane had overtaken Salah to become Liverpool's main star despite not scoring as many goals as the Egyptian. How have they fared this season? Mane hit the ground running at Bayern since swapping the Premier League for the Bundesliga. He scored in the Super Cup final against RB Leipzig before following it up with another strike in his Bundesliga debut against Eintracht Frankfurt. 11 goals and a further 4 assists in 23 outings is a good return for the winger even though his season has been disrupted by a knee injury which saw him miss the World Cup. Hopefully he will pick up from the same point he left off when he returns in February. Salah, on the other hand, has failed to recreate his form from last season. He has struggled for extended periods and seems to have lost his mojo, partly because of injury to his teammates, meaning his role keeps shifting, 
and Klopp experimenting with several systems. Despite the struggles, the Egyptian is the Champions League top scorer alongside Kylian Mbappe and has scored seven in the Premier League. Former Liverpool midfielder and Sky Sports pundit Graham Souness thinks the Egyptian winger could be sitting pretty having signed a contract extension. I hope it is not just him sitting in his armchair because he has signed a new contract, he said. I am saying that as a Liverpool supporter, hopefully to make him angry and prove me wrong. Klopp, however, thinks otherwise, saying the Egyptian's role has not changed. Rather, the team has been a bit static and it has affected not only the way the Egyptian plays, but the entire team. Now, so the position not really changed and what he has to do hasn't changed. It's just how it always was when we don't play our best football, then we have been too static. There is a different debate in some quarters though, with some fans feeling Mane's exit has affected Salah's overall performance and it could be a valid point. The two players always had some sort of competition, healthy competition that ensured they fed off each other's energy. Mane pushed Salah and likewise. Salah pushed Mane whenever Mane scored. Salah would push to also have his name on the score sheet and vice versa. And this brought out the best in the duo, sentiment shared by West Ham striker Mikhail Antonio. I don't feel like they needed to sell him. I think that rivalry they had and that push that Mane was giving Salah and that Salah was giving to Mane, I think that was good for Liverpool. They had that rivalry on the pitch and demanded the best from each other. That rivalry they had and everything they had was good for Liverpool. The attacking statistics will always favor Salah, while Mane takes home the crown for his overall work rate and all-round game. Whichever way you look at it, there is no denying these are two African greats who have achieved so much individually and collectively in a team. As for who is better between the two, well, we think it's a matter of preference, as both players can be devastatingly effective on a good day. What do you think? Leave us a comment below.